Here is my DCEU update for the week. Uh, this is going to be a rather short one. There really hasn't been a whole lot that's happened over the last week. We do have a couple of stories uh, to follow here. The first one is, has to do with the Batgirl movie that is going to start filming probably pretty soon. It is supposed to air on HBO Max in 2022, so they are going to have to get moving on that pretty soon. And there were some reports that came out last week that they said they are looking for a new Commissioner Gordon. So it is not going to be J.K. Simmons. And they're obviously looking for somebody who's very athletic to be a crazy off-the-wall Batgirl. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate they're not bringing J.K. Simmons back. We'll find out if they cast somebody who looks like him, if this is actually going to be part of the DCEU, or if this is going to be uh, something separate on its own, kind of like Joker was. That remains to be seen. There's not a whole lot of information leaking about the Batgirl story. Lots of rumors, but nothing definitive. The other thing that's kind of making the rounds is we've got uh, the the Black Adam movie with The Rock. He, he actually released the first official photo from the set yesterday. Uh, so I'm going to include a picture of that here in this video. Uh, you can tell he's pretty ripped and the scope of this movie should be something pretty phenomenal. So the last story we have here is we have Harley Quinn, uh, the actress who plays her, Margot Robbie, came out and said after the Suicide Squad movie gets released in August, she is taking a break from playing the character. She says it is physically demanding and she's been playing that character now for five years straight without really much of a break at all, uh, starting with the, the first Suicide Squad movie, leading all the way up to this. And she actually came out and was unaware. She let it be known yesterday. Somebody had revealed to her that in Zack Snyder's Justice League that Zack Snyder had killed her character off. And she was unaware of that, uh, which was kind of interesting. So those are kind of the bigger stories. There are other little nuggets that are kind of floating around in regards to DC, but nothing major. I will be bringing you guys all of the news as the weeks go by. And if there's anything worth talking about, I will. I'll leave with you guys that there, there are still, there's a big movement on Twitter to still release the air cut of Suicide Squad. And they're going to be doing a big campaign here on August 5th if anybody wants to get involved on Twitter to release the air cut. And they're still looking at making the Bat, you know, the Batfleck movie, uh, the solo Batman movie. There's a movement for that as well. So if you haven't done it already, head over to Twitter, get all the information on that so everybody can join in. And let's let Warner Brothers know, and especially Discovery now that they own them, that the fans are asking for this stuff. It's going to take all of us to get involved to make sure that the movies happen that we want to happen. And this is a good way to ensure that that happens. So anyway, if you guys like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You will be notified as I have new videos go up. We'll see you guys next week, unless there's some big news that happens this week, but I'll plan on seeing you guys next week.